And now it's time for another Board Game Brawl unboxing with Nick Meanahan, sponsored by BoardGameBliss.com. All right, peoples, we're going to do another unboxing and uh, unpack opening of uh, Force of Will. In this case, it is the Moonlit Savior set. Uh, I have a whole booster box here uh, that we're going to go through. Force of Will is a, a very fun collectible card game that uh, has elements of magic. It has um, the uh, the feels a lot like the whole Planeswalker system of magic. Um, and just some and a little bit of Yu-Gi-Oh, I would say, as far as how the monsters work, but um, eventually I'll do a full review of the game itself and you'll get a better idea of how that all works. But in, uh, in the meantime, uh, we're going to do this unboxing. I love going through these packs of Force of Will. I did another one uh, for the previous set. Um, if you want to see that, the Seven Kings, Seven Lands, something like that. Uh, but let's go ahead and go through this as fast as we can. Uh, now, I like the little uh, like weird shrink wrap on this. It's kind of cool, actually. The uh, the smoked shrink wrap this is actually surprisingly hard to get through. Hold on a sec. Here we go. All right, so there's the real deal. Free of the shrink wrap. All right. It's actually a nicer box. Yeah, I don't know. I don't remember the box being like this for those other ones. Ooh, look at this. This is like, uh, oh, this is just, I guess you're supposed to put it up like this for the display. <laughs> this is one of the characters. Neat. Okay. I do you love the artwork in this game? You know I'm a sucker for anime artwork. Now this is, uh, I think it's 36 packs in each uh, Force of Will booster box. So here's what we're going to do. We're actually going to, well, I'll just take them out of there one by one like this. Okay. Still figuring out the best way to do these going forward uh, so that you can see everything and everything's in focus as much as possible. I haven't quite got it worked out yet, so uh, bear with me, peeps. But we'll get to it eventually. Let's see. Let's see what the easiest way is. So I can do this quickly. Uh, part of it, of course, is my lighting. There we go. That's not so bad. All right. So we have Infernal Spirit of Vel Savara. These are all just comments and things like that. Weird, creepy. The, uh, what was that called? The, yeah, the Executioner. The text is really hard to read on these cards. Magus Conductors, Baton. All right. Veteran Master. This is Valentaz Resistance. Demon Flame. Some of this artwork, I mean, they use different artists. So some of it is like very, very anime, and some of it's not. Mary Bell, insane, self aware machine. Neat. Uh, but some of this artwork is, well, there you go. <laughs> That's some of the artwork you would not see in Magic. Izanami, the sealed terror. That is a super rare. So we're actually going to put that one off to the side. And then we have Tristan, the Knight of Sorrow, who is just an uncommon, but he's a foil. Much like with Magic as well, do you have um, uncommons, uh, or you have uh, foil cards in each of the packs. So we'll actually keep that off to the side too. And then you have power points, which I still don't know what those exactly accomplish. I never bother with them. Maybe one day I will. All right, we have 36 of these open, so let's try to speed it up a bit. So I'm not going to explain every single card, but you can just see what to expect from them. Pale Savior. Rook Egg, which is also a magic card. <laughs> Call of the Primogenitor. Primogenitor. Also the guy from the uh, that placard that came in the top of the box. Uh, Peasant Revolt. That's neat looking. This is Pisha's Call to Action. The font on these are really terrible, so I'm not sure I'm saying them correctly. Shining Strike! Shining Finger! Angel of Wisdom Keratim, that is an uncommon. Knight of the Solstice, which is uh, rare. 
And then Illusory Demonic Globe, The Earth, which is a rare as well. Neat. And then here's another foil rare. Is that a rare? Yeah, this is even harder to see the little tiny number, uh, letter at the bottom. That is Keeper of the Past, Uther. Neato. It's a resonator. Resonators are just creatures in this game, essentially. All right, so we'll put the rares off to the side. I'd like to keep this at least some semblance of being neat. <laughs> All right. Uh, whoa, this is a tricky one. Why is this one tough? Hold on. I didn't grab it in the right way. Wow. I got a good one. <laughs> I, I've been had. This is the prank pack. I'm serious. Like, like okay. This is, uh, maybe I, because I don't have nails right now. Holy hell. This is embarrassing. Hold on. Okay. One more time. There we go. Who knew, right? It'd be such a challenge. Such a blunder. Sometimes it makes me wonder why I even bring the thunder. There's a Hamilton reference for you. Lunar Ibis, Spirit of Kerto. Silencing spell. That's really neat looking art. Well, actually, okay, I thought it was something else at first. It's just some typical anime bondage crap. <laughs> Musta, mus, mus, <laughs> musician of Shangri-La. I was like, Mustafar? That font is terrible. Ambush. Wrath of the Night. Or Witch of the Night, excuse me. Pitch Black Moon. The, another Mary Bell Insane Self-Aware Machine. Interdimensional Vessel Apollo. That's a, uh, uh, yeah, it's another, uh, it's like an item. It's a uh, regalia, yeah. So uh, gives your J ruler some extra bonuses. That is a rare, so we'll put that off to the side. Oh, that Mary Bell's a rare too. Oh, well, I'll, I'll have to go through them all anyways. I guess it doesn't matter. And this one, it's hard to tell with the foil, but this is Luminescent Bamboo Bullets. Another rare. Destroy target rested resonator. Destroy up to one second target rested resonator if this card was awakened. Neat. Okay. So, let's go. Actually, here, I'm going to grab... Uh, I do want to keep the rare separate, so I'm going to really quickly, as fast as I can, grab that rare that I missed before, which was just Mary Bell. Commons and uncommons can stay together. Cool. So I do want to start doing some deck building with this game. Uh, and so I want to keep everything separate. I have to. I have just stacks of these cards everywhere. I need to start organizing them more. Wow, I don't know why I'm having such a problem with these right now. All right, there we go. Practice makes perfect. Alright, so we have Memory of Flame, Night's Shade, Puppet Soldier, really? Yeah, Puppet Soldier, Tyrannosaurus Rex, or Rhythm of Life, however you want to say that. <laughs> I think you can pronounce it both ways. Seal of Wind and Light, that's neat. Fallen Hero. Dying Swallow. Uh, huh. Yeah, it's literally an anime girl tending to a dying swallow. Interesting. Uh, here, I'm guessing it's rare. Yes, Keeper of the Present Verdandi. Okay, neat. I haven't got a J-Roller yet. Uh, still don't. That, that This guy is a super rare Izanagi Keeper of the Seal. Yeah, baby. And then my foil is an uncommon... Heart, heart stirring, yeah, heart stirring sage. See how different the artwork in this game is. It's neat. Okay, so we're gonna put the rare and the super off to the side. And we're gonna keep going. Try to speed it up if I can open these packs in a timely fashion. 
Also, without damaging the cards, that would be helpful. Finally starting to see doubles. Veteran Master. Let's see, we've seen all these before. That's new. Mordred the Traitor. Ooh. I can have an entire Knights of the Round Table deck. Space-Time Collapse. Spell Chant Rare. Neato. Keeper of the Future. Scald. Oh, okay. These are the Norse goddesses. I think Norse, right? Well, all I know is I only know those names from Ah oh My Goddess, the uh, <laughs> old anime and manga. So Erd, Skald, Bell Dandy. I'm sure there's a Bell Dandy. She's a super rare. Still no J Ruler. I always like finding J Rulers. I'm sure like your Planeswalkers in this game. Crescent Moon Magician, rare foil. J Rulers are Planeswalkers, and they can transform into like a more powerful. They like they're like they just stay in front of you and give you bonuses um, sort of guide how your deck is constructed and all that um, but then y that you can put them out into the field like that one Gideon Planeswalker the first Gideon Planeswalker which could come down to the field as a normal soldier well super powerful soldier more doubles, lots of doubles that's a new one, Temple Monk that's an unusual looking Temple Monk compared to how others have been depicted <laughs> Blessing of Athena I like that artwork a lot actually a good color scheme. Holy Moon, Holy Moon of Pure Knights. Uh, this is new. Val Severian Dragon, uncommon. It's neat. By the way, I, I said this has some stuff to do with Yu-Gi-Oh, only in the sense of like how the monsters' attack and defense are and things like that. But it really doesn't have that much. And I'd say the artwork is leagues better than Yu-Gi-Oh's for sure. Much more dynamic. Uh, rare, Shion's Hymn. Uh, I don't know, this sounds interesting. I'm going to read it real quick. So, put target resonator on top of its owner's main deck. Reveal the top card of your main deck. If it's a water resonator with total cost of two or less, put it into your field. As long as your J ruler is Coup d'etat, Mastermind, Shion, you may pay two uh, water less to play its God's Art ability this turn. That's another interesting thing about, uh, maybe good or bad, depending on how you look at it, thing about, um, force of will is that it's heavily dependent on other j rulers and resonators like you're building it's almost like the equivalent in magic if you were building decks around like particular planeswalkers and legends um and not only that but relying on them to activate abilities so here's a super rare sukuyomi noble neat and this is an uncommon foil the flower prince Ew. Well, that would be the uh, Tyrells, right? That's Loris, who is not in good shape in the show right now, <laughs> to say the least. All right, and let's keep going. Probably rambling too much, but, you know, what are you going to do? Just look at the cards and do nothing? I don't know why I'm having such a problem with these packs tonight. I'm sorry, guys. Wow. I don't have any fingernails right now, so that's part of the problem. I should have pre-opened them. <laughs> I should not have done that, actually. Let's see if I can help. With, uh, it's Right now I have to hold this at a really inconvenient angle for you guys to see it okay. Um... Uh... Musician of Shangri-La. That's the ambush of... Oh, yeah, we've had all these before. Well, that's new. Moonbreeze Fairy. Uh, torching the Timeline. <laughs> Interesting. Sorry, this is bothering me. we got to get this better. All right, guys, hopefully that's a little bit better. Uh, torching the Timeline is where we left off which is just a common. Then we have uh, Auspicious Bird of the Black Moon. Again, with that Black Moon. Uh, we have Wind Secluded Refuge. Oh, look, I see a ruler. I see a ruler. I spoiled it for myself. Wall of Wind, which is an uncommon. And Knight of the Solstice. It's another one. And a Water Magic Stone. And a Yggdrasil the World Tree. That's a ruler? It is. What? 
Huh. Interesting. Neat. That's a lot of text I'm not going to read right now, but it looks really cool. Alright. Next pack. Alright, the way I'm sitting now, it's easier just to... These are notoriously difficult for me. I've made them notorious. Alright. We have Black Moon uh, Fairy. Lots of Black Moon stuff. Dance of Inspiration. Wow, her hand looks abnormally large. That's, <laughs> that's a bit odd. <laughs> Moon Breeze Elf. Again, I think, again. Magic, s what's that? Magic Screw. <laughs> Magic Screw. Pale Savior. Black Moon again. Flower Kingdom. That's uh, uncommon. Demon of the Black Moon Lilith. That's some demon. Uh, let's see. She's a rare. Put her off to the side there. Valentina, Puppet Monarch. Okay, neato. And uh, this is just a foil uncommon. Wind Secluded Refuge again. All right. Yeah, okay. With some leverage, these are a little bit easier to pop open now. Rook Egg, another Call of the Primogenitor, Peasant Revolt, Prisha's Call to Action again, Lunar Ibis, here's new, Blazing Metropolis, Veil, oh, no, I did, this is actually one of the first pack that I opened, Veil Severa Dragon, here's new, Kajuda, Kajada, the Sacred Ox, rare, Resonator Beast, uh, Special Magic Stone, oh, nice, Magic stones, if you don't know, are like the mana producers in this game, uh, which is pretty interesting. Or the will producers. Uh, Hymnal Memoria. Memorial. Yeah, Memoria. If your J-Ruler isn't, Songstress of Shangri-La or Coup, uh, Coup d'Etat Mastermind, Shion, the, this card enters your magic uh, stone area. Rested, which means tapped, but they're not allowed to say that. Uh, and then there's a foil version of that uh, Metropolis. We're only a third of the way through, not even. <laughs> Takes a while, man. Come on. So, uh, torching the timeline. All oh, these are the same. Uh, prison in the Lunar Lake. Okay, spell. Wolf in the Moonlight. Another one secluded area. Wall of Wind. Thumbelina. <laughs> oh, I guess she was the one in that swallow card. Uh, Orb of Disaster. Hrit Glass. What? Oh, she was rare, by the way. Hrit Glass. Regalia. Neat. Uh, when this card enters your field, remove the top card of your main deck from the game. Uh, for two fire will, banish this card. Put a non-regalia card from your removed area into your hand. And there's a foil Thumbelina in the same pack as the regular Thumbelina. <laughs> Just kind of happens that way. I don't know, does, uh, does this unpack, uh, I have very little, I have lots of experience with unboxings and very little experience with pack, booster pack openings on camera. Does it lose some of its mystique if you don't see me opening the pack? <laughs> I don't know, probably not. More doubles, triples, quadruples. There's Huge Sand Lady. Elf, when secluded area, Shining Strike. Here's a new one. Demon's Commander. It's a rare... Demon Resonator. This card cannot be blocked by J Resonators without flying, as it is flying. Whenever this card deals damage to your opponent, they discard a card. Typical black card. Darkness Magic Stone. Just a generic thing. Hey, there's that orb again. This is a full art version. Those usually go for big bucks, actually. Well, it depends. I think the most expensive card in this game right now is there was um, like a cat girl with like an alternate art card or a, a faulty art card something like that it was a mistake magic screw pale savior rook egg calls to the primogenitor lots and lots of doubles uh foment of the world tree seems like i can have an Yggdrasil deck put any number of cards in your hand on the bottom of your main deck in any order then draw that many cards plus one you gain 800 life Life surrounds the world. Water magic stone. 
And, ooh, another uh, special magic stone. Moon Breeze's Memoria. Produce uh, fire or light. Sweet! That's like a dual land. <laughs> That's a big deal, I think. It's only a rare, though. So it's, oh, it's probably not that big a deal, but they're useful for sure. Okay. Let's keep going. Counter spell. Cancel spell. More doubles. Looking for the new stuff. Angel of Wisdom. Karadim. Did I already do that one? I think I already seen this guy. Resonator Angel. There's another Uther. So I already got her. There's another one of those. Okay, so maybe those aren't that rare. <laughs> but uh, there's a, a common foil. <laughs> Cool. Well, it's the, the game wants me to do a uh, fire light deck. Sounds about right. Now I'm more likely to do water and life. There's huge hand lady again. Better to have huge hands than tiny hands, like a certain politician I know. Super tiny hands. Rook egg, flower kingdom, another Mordred. Another demon, another one of the another special stone, Himmel's Memoria, and a foil ambush. So lots of doubles even with my rares and super rares. Interesting. Alright, well at least I got the camera working better, even if you guys can't see me open the pack. I think it's a small price to pay. Looking for new stuff. That's new. That's uh, Prisha, who was referenced in another card. Prisha, Pursuant of Exploding Flame. <laughs> nice. Okay, she's uh, Swiftness, Target Attack, First Strike. This card gains flying until end of turn. You spend a green will. When this card is put into a graveyard from your field, it deals 5 damage to 100 damage to your opponent. There's another special magic stone, Black Moon's Memoria. Nice. I like getting those. All right, that was a good pack. I think. So my thing is, from now point forward, I, whenever a new set comes out, I might buy like one booster box of it. Because I'm not trying to be competitive in this game. I mean, I think our, my local Cool Stuff branch does. Uh, they put together, like the, the people who um, work in the shop like Force of Will so much, they put together a league. But I don't know if it's even going on and it's too far away from me. So um, I'm never going to do a competitive, but I'd like to play it and collect it and so i'll probably buy like a, a box every time a major set comes out here's a new one kaguya's premonition target resonator gains plus 200 plus 400 until end of turn awakening ability uh that's a repeat that's a repeat that's a repeat servant to sacred moon that's a repeat <laughs> well there's this cancelly clad anime girl just to upset people uh timekeeper elf interesting it's just like uh, mana acceleration. Drill Sergeant, also new. There's a new one, Muse Celestial Music, super rare. Nice. Once card enters your field, name a card type, reveal the top card of your main deck. If it's a name type, put it as your hand. If a resonator you control would be dealt damage less than its defense, prevent it. Nice. And this is the Insane Robot foil in full art. Okay. I'm telling you, these are unusually difficult to open. Lots of doubles. The ox again. Ooh, there's a... Well, it's just a full art card. That's Hydromonica. Heavenly Instrument. Ha 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 ha! The Hydromonica. You've played the Hydromonica before, I'm sure. Another Knight of Solstice uh, foil. I've ceased keeping the rare separated. I'm just going to have to sort them all out later. That's all right. Should have had music. Uh, more doubles. Big Hand Lady back again. Magic Screw again. 
uh, Valentor Resistance, we've seen that one before. This is new. Keeper of the Present Verdandi, which is Bell Dandy, which is how they messed it up in the anime translation. So I got the set of them. When this card enters your field, you may remove a card from your hand from the game. If you do draw a card, as long as there are 10 or more cards in your removed area, this card gains plus 900, 900, and first strike. That's neat. I like that. Ooh, Regalia, Blade of the Seven Lands, Excalibur X. <laughs> you cannot be targeted by spells or abilities your opponent controls. You get you get hex proof. <laughs> I can only relate to the world through Magic the Gathering. I'm sorry. That's awesome. That was a great pack. Faux show. Tristan and Asaro, we've had him before. Dying Swallow again. Another Ox. There's Disasters more. Uh, another Special Magic Stone. Produces Flame. Remove the top card of your main deck from the game. Hmm. Lots of combo-specific things here. Neat. Okay. Now, there are pre-made sets of this game. Um, it's really weird how they did it. So, with one of the very early sets, when the, when the game first came to America... Their first releases were actually pre-made decks, which I do have, but they're, um, they're unplayable without major changes because they changed a major rule of the game. I can't remember all the details of it, but um, a major way that the J rulers worked, um, they modified, and so <laughs> and uh, enough that it's actually text on the card, which means those cards are unplayable without changes. Um, so that's rough. You can't really go back and do those. And of course, if you're being competitive, they're all out of date anyways. Um, not in the block. I think they just do block format the same way that, um, Magic does for competitive play. But they also did starter decks, um, more recently that got really bad ratings. I don't think they're very good. Um, that's why I've hesitated to get them. Um, but they really need something good. Oh, this is a lot of new cards in this. So this one was uh, Were Rabbit of the Aqua Moon. Okay, another new one. This is Child of the Forest, uh, who, as you know, created the White Walkers. Uh, Kaguya's Premonition. Again, another Angel Caradim. Space Time Collapse. I that's on the first packs. A normal Wind Magic Stone. Well, foil one, anyways, and a foil dinosaur card. Okay, we are almost two-thirds of the way through. I know, this is a long one, right? Don't worry, with clever editing, this video will only be three minutes long. Okay. Another Prisha. Fire Magic Stone. This is... Athena, Titan of Revenge, super rare foil, full art. Full art gives them extra attack bonuses. Not really. Uh, it's really hard to read that from here, so use your imagination but or freeze frame, but it's really cool looking. Neat. Okay. So we're getting closer to the game, which means we're going to see more and more doubles and not even as many uh, new ones as we've seen. But we'll still see some. World Tree Protector. So let's see, I can make my World Tree deck. Damn it. Woo! There he goes. New J Ruler. Is that my first one? I think so. And he's the guy from the box. Uh, Gil Lapis, the pr pr primogenitor. Guy, he's got a lot of text. Okay, that's a lot. But here's what I'll say if you've never seen these before. So there's J Ruler side, and then boom! Or actually, no, this is his ruler side, and then he comes out into the field. Boom! J Ruler side. And he smashes you with his text box. <laughs> All right. Happy to have gotten at least one J Ruler, but there's usually several in a set, so I'm not as happy as I could be.
space-time anomaly. There's my space-time deck. Seal of Shining Bamboo. I like these. There's spells that are just shoots of laser bamboo. <laughs> That's the second one I've seen. Another Knight of Solstice, Wind Magic Stone, another uh, Prison in the Looter Lake. Alright, that was not a great pack. But I did see some things I hadn't seen before. Alright. Ooh, new one right off the bat. We got Time Traveling Emissary. Which is Resonator Wizard. Remove the top card of your main deck from the game. This card deals 200 damage to target Resonator. Alright, interesting. Another new one. Nighttime Raiders. Uh, Rare Rabbit again. Child of the Force again. That was the same order as that other pack. <laughs> it's almost as if it's planned that way. Ooh, another new one. This is Fallen Angel... F Fallen Angelic Destroyer Lucifer. Oh boy. You're gonna get banned like D&D &D in the 80s. What's really interesting is that this art is completely different than any of the other artwork in the game. They really go with diverse styles here. And Holy Moon of Pure Nights. Just an uncommon foil. And we move on. Now we're in the last third. For real this time. Alright, so. We're doing well. How are we doing? Alright. Lots and lots of the same card. It's okay. It's probably alright. Crescent Moon Magician! Dark Magician Girl! It's a rare. Well, there's a regular art Athena, Titan of Revenge. And this is Shion's Hymn. Spell, Chant, Rare, Foil. Neat. Really great artwork. Yeah, I'm not, look, I'm not going to lie. The artwork of this game is a huge appeal and a huge draw for me. The game is fun, too. What little I've played it. Uh, but shit like art matters. I mean, how much money do you think uh, Magic the Gathering spends on art? And why do you think that they made a huge, drastic sea change in the quality of their artwork between, like, 4th edition and, I don't know, like, Mirage or Tempest? Somewhere back in that time, they started doing really high-quality art as opposed to junk. Okay, looking for new stuff. That's new. Izanami's Curse. Target Resonator gains minus 100, minus 100 for each card in your graveyard until end of turn. That's neat. Darkness Magic Stone. And wait a minute, did I just get... Yeah, there you go. Again, foil and regular in the same pack. Not a lot of surprises anymore. There's the Prince regular version. I don't remember I got the foil version before. Light Magic Stone. And wow, that was a terrible pack just because I've seen all, I had all those before. <laughs> I think I've got like six of that machine, even though she's supposed to be rare. And the universe and theme of this game makes no sense. It's just a bunch of, like, fairy tales and Cthulhu and uh, Japanese myths all, in, in Norse myths, all, you know, crammed together. But that kind of makes it charming in its own particular way. She owns him regular version. Yggdrasil's Memorial, Special Magic Stone. Ooh, I wonder if I can get the whole set of Special Magic Stones. That would be neat, huh? So let's see what we got. Keep going, we're almost to the end. Another Tristan, another Metropolis, and more bamboo shoots, fire magic stone, and a foil elf. Oh boy. This whole row, uh, I'm guessing the last third of this is not going to be that amazing. <laughs> Still holding out hope for another J-Ruler. Those are just the show-stopping cards. Put 
So far, no. More sexy elves. Other machine. AI. That's new. That is Avatar of the Seven Lands Alice. Alice is like a recurring thematic character. Like the most powerful character, or one of the most powerful throughout all of these uh, sets. So this is her avatar. Neat. She's a super rare, and that's a foil. If damage would be dealt to you, it's dealt to this card instead. Quick cast, which is like flash, target attack, resonator avatar. Neat. That's a good thing. Okay. Or the same. So, how what card do you think I have the most of from this box? Like, which one have you seen the most? I haven't really been paying attention. There's another version of her. Foil, full art. I think I've seen that fire dog a lot. Ambush a lot. Hmm. Interesting. Here we go. Uh, no, I've got this one already. Verdandi again. Water Magic Stone. Another one of him. Okay, so like I said, I think this might be all the excitement. We've got four packs left. I don't think I've got any more commons or uncommons to find in this set. Well, that's not necessarily true, but I think it's likely. Darkness Magic Stone. Who is is that a new one? Nope, Scald again. Oh, boy. I was hoping for... It's looking unlikely for another, like, awesome, rare, super rare, ultra rare. But who knows? Who knows? Could be like the guy who finds the Black Lotus. Somehow in Force of Will. Moonbreeze Fairy. I've seen a lot of those. Drill Sergeant again. Wind Magic Stone. A foil version of the Anime Bondage card. Only two packs left. Come on. Give us something new. Let's end on a high notes. Another Magic Screw. That's new, actually. No, Shining Strike is not new. Another Karadim. Another Uder. Light Magic Stone. That's different. Tsukiyomi. Oh, no, it's not. It's just a full art version of the Tsukiyomi Noble. Damn it. <laughs> All right. Last pack, peeps. Let's see if we can end on a high note. Fingers crossed. No, I see nothing. That's new. Is it? Memory of Disappearance. It's a rare. Put target card from your removed area into your hand. And just another... No. Nothing exciting. But oh well. There was some exciting things, just not there at the end. That last row of the, the last 12 packs were not great. Uh, but in any events, there's the disaster of cards that I probably should have more neatly stacked. But <laughs> And there's all the packs in the points. But thank you for indulging me in another uh, pack unboxing. I don't know how interesting these are to you. I like doing it on camera if I'm going to do it at all. Um, if I was, uh, all I'd be doing is watching One Piece episodes because I restarted the series from the beginning. I know I'm crazy. Um, and I'm, I'm opening these if I wasn't doing it on camera. So hopefully it was worth a watch for you. But if you have any tips on how I can do it better or make it more exciting please feel free to let me know because this is not my forte. I'm not like MTG girl who does it uh, very professionally and very well. Um, I could probably stay in and take a few tips from her for sure. But thank you so much for watching. Take care. Thanks for watching. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Patreon. And make sure to check out our sponsor, Board Game Bliss, where you can find an amazing selection of games from around the world. 
BoardGameBliss.com. Thanks for your support.